Hey everybody, it's DJ B, and unfortunately we are here making this video today. I made the commitment to become a full-time artist based on painting commissions, and not a day before I was scheduled to like quit my job and become full-time, my airbrush compressor broke. $500 later, here we are. This is the compressor that I've been using since 2017. It has survived the five-year Model Horse customizing journey, which is kind of nuts considering I only paid like $100 for this. Um, and this compressor worked fine. I was having issues with my airbrush in general, and I was starting to feel like it was linked to the compressor itself. I kind of just lived with it. So then I went down the rabbit hole because I wasn't sure what route to go. I didn't necessarily want to buy another $100 Amazon one because now I'm sure that airbrushing is going to be in my life for a long time. So you can go with the fancy Iwata ones or you can pay more for a master one, but the master one was no different than this one. You need one of these. <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to be the solution yet. It should last longer. It should be more consistent in the pressure it's outputting as well. And they come in larger tank sizes. I went with the three gallon, which is the biggest in the Makita brand here. I believe that this is going to be a little bit louder than this, but I paid the extra money, so like quite a bit more to have the quiet compressor. Let's open it and see what it looks like, and if it's horribly terrible, I'm feeling fine because I can return it. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. Move it back. I ordered this and I have no idea if it's gonna fit because I know nothing about these things. Yep, that does fit. The manual is not helpful. So this has been a process and a half. There is no resource on the internet explaining exactly what you need to make this thing work. I've been to Home Depot twice now. I was asking the people there, they had no clue. Here we are, another like $50 down. I ordered this moisture trap off of Amazon. It happened to come with the right adapter piece to connect to the hose. And then I needed a quick release adapter for the hose tape in case there's a leak, uh, pipe thread sealant tape, and now that I think of it, I'm not actually sure I need these at all. So I'm going to try and set it up and see what happens. I had to buy a new cable. I bought this hose because this hose was no good. So I also banished it to the corner over here. I'm like not sure about the noise level. So I'm just like not sure in general about this whole thing. I have no idea why I didn't think you couldn't buy a straight one. It's off. <laughs> Nothing! I love that. We have air. We figured it out. There's no air leak. As far as I can tell, this is going to run for a really long time before it kicks in. So there. like very little air and then let's see I can run this 
for a really long time, guys. Like, I'm not gonna run out of air. Hang on, I just need the air brush. Yeah, this is... This is complete overkill for what you actually need in the studio, but this is might exactly be what I need in the studio because now I can spray with consistent pressure. So these things are always so great once you figure them out. It just takes so much energy and expense and research and all the things to like get going. And so that's why I like doing the videos because I am saving you all of the heartache and pain and suffering that I've just gone through and I will explain all of the things here. So this is working. There's no air leak and I can spray for like five minutes and I don't think this will be an issue at all. So now I can hook it up.